Welcome to the next episode of DP5R TV Sign Ons and Sign Offs. Okay guys, we are back in Visayas. Today is gonna be Kanlaon for some reason. And then, I actually did a trailer last week about uh, the Kanlaon episode. And then, my 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 message was, I, I said that was actually that was actually the Kanlaon episode, which was 7 minutes and 49 seconds. And then, the memory was full. It was going up to 9.0 or 9.1, but 9.0. So, not 9.1, but 9.0. So, so yeah, that's it. That, that's what I'm about to talk. The Kanlaon, the, the city of Kanlaon in the Philippines. Welcome to the, the welcome to the thirty second episode of DP Five R TV Sign Offs and Sign Offs, and welcome to the mountainous city of the Philippines. <laughs> was sponsored by Tourism Philippines. Hey everybody, I'm your host, the voiceover of DP5R TV. So, in Kanlaon, we, we will talk about the Kanlaon Mountain. The Kanlaon Mountain. So, it's, it is basically actually spelled Kanlaon C with a K instead of a C. Because with a C spelled, it is actually a city. But, spelled with a letter K is, uh, is a mountain or volcano in... Uh, Negros Occidental, which actually called Kanlaon, uh, Kanlaon Volcano or Kanlaon Mountain. Mon- uh, okay, G- okay, guys, a deal is a deal. Let's start the episode now. Okay, guys, today t- t- today's episode will be sponsored by Tourism Philippines. I actually, uh, I actually, uh. I actually watched this videos of the tourism Philippines, for example, like wake up in the Philippines. I actually watched that too many. Uh, I actually watched that. Uh, I actually watched that commercial uh, before, and then, and then every region of the Philippines has actually wake up in the in the country in the Philippines. Okay, so let's go uh, write the station notice now, shall we? Okay, here we go, here we go. 21, 28, 20, 60. Uh, okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, uh, last record was, I was actually nervous. It is because my elder sibling has actually entered in her room. So, I, so I'm actually mad for this one. Which, that's okay though. Sorry. Sorry everybody for interrupting me. Here we go. Let's make it lower this time. 50 kilowatt. 50,000 watts. Or fifty thousand watt uh, effective radiated power with permit number BSD dash zero two two six or five six six five six six dash twenty where where did it start twenty fifteen here we go R E N we're just gonna put R E N on it for valid until December thirty one. 2022 or maybe 2023 or something here we go channel 44 oh is trans transmitter is located at uh is located at uh balangoy street uh i actually eat that before in my house, the Balangoy Street, Kanlaon City, Negros 
Foxy then that. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna straight my my foot. Channel 44 is operated by the following. This is only easy, not for now. But I actually did that before. By the professional regulation. Uh, the, 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 the National Telecommunications Commission. Here we, uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, electronics and Jesus only in first class video operators. Okay, okay uh, electronics and Jesus. Uh, mm, mm, uh, only two. Engineer Romulo C. Tataro Jr. Is in number 0398. Engineer Jose Paulo L. Garibay. Uh, or only three electronics engineers. Since zero five four nine four three engineer last one last electronics engineer into the Ryan B vigil up oh, is oh, oh my gosh I'm so tired is it number zero zero four four two one four I'm I'm just gonna lay down just gonna lay down first class radio operators ready radio telephone operators okay 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 you can go okay you can go okay 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 you can go you can go over there you can go over there uh uh i'm not actually that mad for some reason because they don't cause dash one pncr dash two one one zero eight one one zero eight orlando m lagarta that's three dash one PNCR dash six zero one six. Uh, Jose P. Buban. Um, ninety four dash one PV dash. Uh, 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 can you just just call me? I'm recording here in the room. Dash one PV dash eight nine six zero. Oh, oh, I actually missed out minus for some reason. Finally, the winner is. Um, Anthony, Anthony the, Anthony the, uh, Rodriguez, 99-1 P V I region 6 dash 58533. Okay, here we go. Channel 44, Kandaon is now signing on. Okay, guys, we're just gonna put, up. Oh, oh, okay, guys, we're just gonna put off on it. Okay, before we read the station notice, or uh, sign on, sign off station notice, uh, uh, or sign on station notice, uh, channel 44 Kanlao, on the channel 44 Kanlao, let's go back to the Wikipedia geography to teach about the geography of Kanlao, shall we? Okay, guys, does Kanlaon belong to Negros Occidental? No! It is belong to Negros Oriental. Look at this map. Okay, it even has the coast of... Oh, it even has the coast of Negros Occidental. So, that's in Negros Oriental. Uh, that's in Negros Oriental. Here we go. Before we do, let's drink some water first. Here we go. <clears throat> Kanlaon, officially the city of Kanlaon. Cebuana translated as Dakbayan sa Kanlaon. Hiligaynon translated as Dakbanwasang Kanlaon. Filipino translated as Longsod ng Kanlaon. It's a fourth class component city in the province of Negros Oriental, Philippines. According to the 2020 census, it has a population of 558,822 people. It is located 166 kilometers or 103 miles north from the provincial capital of It's bordered on the east. May Valle, Valle Hermoso and on the south by Gihulgan. Kanlaon is home to the highest peak in its own province in its corresponding island, corresponding island, Kanlaon Volcano, which is actually 2,465 meters or 8,087 feet above sea level at, at its highest point. The banyan tree, also known as the century tree, banete tree, uh, millennium tree, inside the Oiska farm is estimated by botanists from the from from Silliman University to be around 1,300 years old. It is home to the lizards, 
bats, and a variety of insects. It may be considered as Kalawan City's main tourist attraction. So this actually, this episode is actually sponsored by Tourist Philippines. Let's talk about the history of Kalawan, shall we? Okay, guys, let's talk about the Kanlaon City's history. Kanlaon, first of all, Kanlaon was formerly a part of Valle Hermoso, a city of Mabigo of Barrio Panubigan. In 1941, Isido, Isidoro Bautista Senior, a geodetic engineer, along with his residence, peti- petitioned to the Philippine government to convert Mabigo into a separate municipality. 1. World War II During the Second World War, the Japanese Imperial Army captured Kanlaon City on April 10, 1942, right after the Battle of Bataan. The Japanese occupation of the city ended in early 1945 when soldiers, soldiers, soldiers from the 8th United States, Ar- 8th United States Army under Lieutenant General Robert Eichlerberger, including the, the 40, 40th Infantry Division on the USA and the 23rd Infantry Division, which was also in the USA, landed on Negros Island to drive out the Japanese. On liberating Negros Island, they were, they were uh, assisted by nearly formed Philippine Commonwealth military forces and local, uh, lo- local Negros guerrillas who helped in clearing all Japanese pockets of resistance, re- resistance throughout the island. In fact, the honor of li- li- liberating Kanlaon City for the Japanese went to the, to, went to the Philippine Commonwealth soldiers be, be belonging to the 7th, 71st, and 73rd, and 75th Infantry Regiments of the Philippine Army, the seventh, the seventh constabulary regiment of the Philippine Constabulary and Negrans and Negrans guerrillas. Two, two, the World War Two, the post World War Two, the creation as a municipality. In October 11, 1946, President Manuel Rojas signed Executive Order Number no. 19, creating the municipality of Calaon, consists of two barrios, Mabigo and Panubigan, and nine sitios. It was inaugurated by, on January 1, 1947, on New Year's Day. Isidoro Bautista Senior became his first municipal mayor. 3. The City Hall. Lorenzo Tevez, congressman of the 1st District of Negros Occident Oriental, filled House Bill 4346 regarding, regarding the conversion of Kalaon into a city. The bill became Republic Act No. 3445. However, President Carlos P. Garcia did not sign the bill. It was only on April 20, 1967, President Ferdinand Marcos Sr. signed Proclamation Number no. 193, making the municipality as a city. It took effect on July 2, 1967, making Kadlaon as the second city in the province. Let's talk about the geography. Let's talk about the geography of Kadlaon, shall we? Okay, guys, let's talk about the geography of Kanlaon City. <laughs> Let's talk about the barangays. Kanlaon is officially sub- subdivided into 12 barangays. Each barangay consists of Poros and some of Sitios. The 12 barangays of Kanlaon are Bayog, Binolbagan, Bukalan, Budlasan, Linotangan, Luma- Lumapaw, Babigo, or Pablasyon, Malaiba, Masulong, Ninoy, Aquino, Panubigan, and Pula. Let's go back to the Cape Lord, shall we? Okay, so the error on the sign sign on sign off station notice was actually on Negros Oriental. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Before we read though, let's drink some water first. Here we go. This is Channel 44 Kanlaon, a commercial VHF TV station owned and operated by DP5R TV Corporation, transmitting on a 50,000 watt effective radiated power with permit number BSD-0566-2015, valid until December 31, 2023. Channel 44 transmitter is located at Balanghoit Street, Kanlaon City, Negros Oriental. Channel 44 is operated by the following personnel, duly licensed by the Professional Regulation Commission and the National Telecommunications Commission. Electronics Engineers Engineer Romulo C. Tataro Jr. ECE number 0033398 Engineer Jose Paulo L. Garibay ECE number 0054943 Engineer Ryan B. Vigil ECE number 0044214 First Class Radio Operators Michael D. Dela Cruz 98-1PNCR-21108 Orlando M. Lagarta 93-1PNCR-6016 Jose P. Buban, 94-1PV-8960 and Anthony D. Rodriguez, 99-1PVI Oh, I was wrong. 
it was region 7 because region 7 is Negros Occidental. No, no, not Negros Occidental. Uh, Negros Oriental, Central Visayas. And, uh, and Anthony D. Rodriguez, 99 1PVII 58533. Channel 44 Kanlaon is now signing on. Before I read the close down, let's go back to the Wikipedia geography to teach more about the city of Kanlaon, shall we? <laughs> Okay, guys, so we are now on the demographics now. Let's talk about the language of Kanlaon, shall we? Can Cebuano is the main dialect of Kanlaon City, but Iliganon is also spoken as the city borders Negros Occidental. Tagalog and English are rather used as, sec used as second language. Let's talk about the economy, the education of, of Kanlaon, shall we? The public schools in Kanlaon are... In, are <coughs> Administered by the newly formed schools division of Kanlaon City, the Kanlaon City Division or Dep Ed Kanlaon City. The elementary schools are Angas 1 Elementary School, Aquino Elementary School, Bayog Elementary School, Binabagan Elementary School, Bukalan Elementary School, Buds Budlasan Elementary School, Conception, Conception Palmares Mon Monte Alegre Elementary School, formerly Mananawin ES, Gabog Elementary School, Gibawan Elementary School, Calubrihan Elementary School, formerly Calubrihan PS. Linotangan Elementary School, Lower Lumpa, Lumapaw Elementary School, Ma Macario Española Memorial School, Malayba Elementary School, Ma Malayba Elementary School, Ex Everlasting Extension, Mangap, uh, Mangapa Elementary School, Masulog Elementary School, uh, uh, Ma Matabak Ele Ma Ma Matagbak Elementary School, Formerly Mananawin, Manan Mananawin Elementary School, Matagbak Extension, Minabuton Elementary School, Formerly Minabuton PS, Panubigan Central Elementary School, Panubigan CES, Carmen Extension, Panubigan Central Elementary School, Pasto Extension, Piramantigan Elementary School, Pula Elementary School, Tabalogo Elementary School, Tigbay Elementary School, Apalumapa Elementary School, formerly Apalumapa PS, Villa, Villa Iowa Elementary School, Villa Iowa Elementary School, Mayan Extension. Here are the high schools of Canlaon City. Aquino High School, formerly Jose B. Cardenas, uh, uh, Osebi Candidas um, MHS Ak Aquino Extension Bayuk High School formerly Josebi Cardenas MHS Bayuk Extension Bukalan High School Budlasan National High School Con Josebi Cardenas Memorial High School for American Lawn City National High School Josebi Cardenas MHS Tab Tab Tabalogo Extension Osebi Cardenas MHS Uptown Annex Malaiba High School, Masolog High School, Pula High School, formerly Josebi Cardenas MHS Pula Extension. Let's go back to the Keep Notes, shall we? Okay, guys, before we the close down, let's drink some water first. Here we go. Here we go. This is Channel 44 Kanlaod, a commercial VHF TV station owned and operated by DP5R TV Corporation, transmitting on a 15,000 watt effective radiated power, with permit number BSD-0566-2015, valid until December 31, 2023. Channel 44 transmitter is located at Balangway Street, Kanlaod City, Negros Oriental. Channel 44 is operated by the following personnel duly licensed by the Professional Regulation Commission and the National Telecommunications Commission. Electronics Engineers, Engineer Romulo C. Tataro Jr., ECA number 003398, Engineer C. Paulo El Garibay, ECA number 0054943, Engineer Ryan B. Vigil, ECA number 0044214, First Class Radio Operators, Michael D. De La Cruz, 98-1PNCR-21108, Orlando M. Lagarta, 93-1PNCR-6016, Jose P. Buba, 94-1PV-8960, and Anthony D. Rodriguez, 99-1PVII-58533. Channel 44, Kanlaon, is now signing off. Okay, guys, before we end the episode, let's, let, uh, I, I have just a uh, few quotes about the city of Kanlaon. So here's my quote. Kanlaon is a city in Argos Oriental. Uh, it, has, it has 12 barangays. Uh, what I really meant to say is the Kanlaon Volcano, literally... 2400 meters or 8000 feet and then my my last quote was Kalaon was a city that that actually that actually has elementary schools and high schools 
So that, uh, that's it, guys. That's the uh, that's the end. Uh, that's the end of the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, bye, guys. Stay tuned. Kar Kar Sebu is coming up next. <laughs>